Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews. Today we are going to go with the problem path with maximum probability. In this question we are given an undirected weighted graph of n nodes. These nodes are represented by edges. Edges edge number i denotes an edge from a to b and from b to a. Now there is also a success probability of traversing a particular edge given in another array success probability. So we are given a start and an end point. We have to find the path with the maximum probability of success to go from the start to end and return the success probability. If there is no path from start to end then we have to return 0 in those cases. Now the probability is the multiplication. So let us say that if we want to go from uh, start 0 to end 2 there are two paths one is having a probability of 0.2 another is having a probability of 0.5 and 0.5 that means the multiplication of both which is equals to 0.25 so from we are given a source we are given a destination using this source and destination we have to find a path such that the product of all the edges in that path can be maximized so we have a similar situation that we have in uh, the shortest path algorithm. So we have certain shortest path algorithm such as Bellman Ford, Dijitra, Floyd Washel. Dijitra is having a complexity of E log V where E is the number of edges and V is the number of nodes. So in this case we are given that we have we have 10 raised to the power 4 number of nodes and 2 into 10 raised to the power 4 number of edges. So if we see the complexity, we have the complexity as E log V where V is the number of nodes. So using this complexity, we can pass the given constraints. In the worst case, the number of edges are v square, but in this case, we are given that the number of edges v is equivalent to number of nodes. Number of edges e is equivalent to number of nodes v. So we can use this algorithm, and what instead we have to do is instead of finding the shortest path from the start to end, we have to find the longest path from start to end in terms of multiplication. So first of all, we should create a graph. We are creating an unordered graph of type int and vector of pair of int. Now we will go for each edge e dot size m of e of zero. dot push back e of i dot first comma p of i and we have to do the reverse as well because we are having bidirectional edges from 1 to 0 so this is the graph now we have to apply okay we have to use double instead of int because we are having values in fraction a distance array to maintain the distance a visited array we 
Now distance of starting node is equal to 1 because the probability of start to start is 1. So when we are finding the probability where the destination and the source is given to be same, the answer will be 1 in that case. Creating the priority queue. It will be of type pair of pair of double comma int. The double is to store the distance and int is to store the node. Pushing the initial value that is 1. So 1 is the distance that is the probability and node is the start node. Now applying the algorithm. We are taking the first element from the top of the queue and then popping this. If it is already visited, if visited of a dot second, then we have to continue, else we will mark it visited. We will go to each of its child and here we will be maximizing the distance. If the child is not visited, if distance of c dot first if it is smaller than distance of a dot second plus uh, we have to multiply this A dot first. So this is the this is the distance of A, and here it should be the dis the distance from A to C, that is C dot second. So if this is the case, then we have to update the distance of C. Distance of C will be equal to this and we have to push distance of C into the priority queue. This comma C dot first. Finally, we have to return the distance of end. Error is in line number three. Okay, so let us say that this is Okay, let us keep this as end. The only time we are using end here is this. Push. The line number 30. 
we have to push this in the priority queue queue dot push distance of end so there is some error in this initially we are keeping the distances as zero I think the problem is over here in this one I should take double it is giving us correct answer for this test case let me test with other test cases as well 0 0.25, 0 0.3 and 0.25, 0.3 and 0.0 it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit this now so we have just implemented the Dijetra's algorithm and instead of minimizing the distance and the minimizing the summation of all the distances we are just maximizing the product of all the distances so the only condition that we are changing here is in this this particular line so instead of looking at the distance of C in the Dijetra's algorithm we would have done like this distance of C dot first if this is greater than distance of a dot first uh, or rather uh, a dot first itself because distance of a dot first the distance of a is a dot first plus the distance between a and c and that is given by c dot second so if this if this was the case then we would minimize the distance of c dot first so that is what we do in Dijetra's algorithm now instead of doing it we are just uh, uh, maximizing the product of uh, the distance the product of the edges so this is the only change in this and rest the time complexity and the space complexity remains same as as Dijetra's algorithm and this is it for the solution if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and please leave in the comment section uh, as to what suggestions would you like to give me for my future videos thank you